Okay, let's continue uh, with the reading on the next page of uh, Unit 3. Okay, so let's do the reading together. Okay, so let's read and listen. Uh, guess the meanings of the highlighted words. Okay, so guess what the highlighted uh, words mean. Okay, when you're reading, use context clues. When you read, use context clues. Other words in the text to guess the meanings of words you don't know. Okay, so let's do Language Central. Okay, welcome to Language Central. Are you studying a language? Do you want to speak better? Read these comments from language learners to get some ideas. Okay, Nate from the US. I'm going to visit some friends in Brazil next year, so I'm studying Portuguese. I'm taking a class three nights a week because I work during the day. My schedule is really hectic, but I'm learning a lot and I'm making some new friends. Okay, so can you guys guess what hectic is? Okay, so read the context clues, the other words in the sentence. My schedule, okay, is really hectic. Okay, so right, so he's saying he, he takes classes three nights a week and he works during the day. Okay, so the context clues tell us that hectic probably means like uh, really busy, right? Really busy. He, he's got a hectic schedule, a really uh, busy, uh, intense uh, schedule, okay? Then we have Angela, okay, Angela's from Costa Rica. I'm studying tourism, so I need to speak English really well. These days, I'm watching a lot of movies and TV shows in English. I also chat online with English speakers. Talking to English speakers is a great way to improve. My English is getting better every day. Okay, so you guys know chat online, right? You guys chat online uh, with your friends. Okay, so chatting online, right? Uh, and then improve, okay, so the other uh, highlighted word is improve, okay? Improve means to get better, right? Level up or get better, okay? Am I right? And then we have henna from South Korea. I'm learning Spanish because I'm crazy about languages. I just love them. Right now I'm studying online because I don't have time to take a class. I usually do vocabulary and grammar exercises. Oh, and I also try to understand the lyrics to Spanish songs. Okay, so she says, I'm crazy about languages. Okay, so it means like she really likes or she really loves languages. Okay, and then the lyrics, she tries to understand the lyrics to Spanish songs. Okay, so the lyrics are the lines, right? The lines to a song, the words in the song right, are the lyrics. <clears throat> okay, so for part B, let's complete the chart. Okay, so first, tell me what language are they learning? Okay, so go ahead and write down what language is Nate learning? What language is uh, Angela learning? And then Henna. Okay, so please write down the languages that they are learning. Okay, take, take a few moments to do that. Okay, so Nate is learning uh, Portuguese, right? Portuguese. Okay, so they speak Portuguese in Brazil. Okay, and Angela is learning English. And Hannah is learning Spanish. Okay, why are they learning the languages? Okay, why is Nate learning Portuguese? Okay, and why is Angela learning English? Okay, and why is Hannah learning Spanish? Okay, so write down the reasons why they're learning those languages. Okay, take a, take a couple of minutes to do that first. You guys go ahead and write it down first. Okay. If you guys want, you can pause pause the video. 
Okay, and then after you finished, you can see that uh, Nate is learning Portuguese because he's going to visit some friends in Brazil. He's going to visit some friends in Brazil. Okay, and Angela is studying English because she's studying tourism, so she needs to speak English, okay, for her studies in tourism. And Hannah is learning Spanish because she's crazy about languages. She loves languages. She's crazy about languages. Okay, and then the last question is, how is he or she learning the language? Okay, so how is Nate learning Portuguese? Okay, how is Angela learning English? And how is Hannah learning Spanish? Okay, so please uh, write those answers also. Okay, take a few minutes to do that. You can pause the video. Okay. And when you finished, you can check your answers. Okay, so how, how is Nate learning Portuguese? Okay, he's taking a class three nights a week. Okay, he's taking a class. Okay, and how is Angela learning English? Okay, she's watching a lot of movies and TV shows in English. She's also chatting online with English speakers. Okay, and Hannah is uh, studying online. Okay, she's studying online. And she's also trying to understand the lyrics to Spanish songs. Okay, so she's learning the lyrics to Spanish songs. Okay, and then for part C, Complete the chart uh, for yourself. Complete it about you. Okay, and then please ask your partner. Okay, so hopefully you're doing, doing this with a partner so you guys can practice the conversations, practice the speaking. Okay, so first answer for you. What language are you learning? Are you learning English? Most of you are learning English. Um, are you learning Japanese? Okay, why are you learning the language? Why? And how are you learning the language? Okay, so just answer for you first. So maybe you could say, oh, I'm learning English. Okay, maybe you're learning English because you have some English test you have to take, like maybe the TOEIC, maybe you have to take a TOEIC test uh, later. And how are you learning the language? Okay, you're taking an English class, or maybe you, you chat with friends in English or you like to watch English TV shows. Okay, so please answer for you and then try to ask a partner, okay? Ask, ask your partner these questions and write down your partner's answers. All right, so please take a few minutes to do that. Okay. <clears throat> and then I just want to do one more page uh, for this unit. We're going to we're going to skip the video page and uh, just do the presenting. I just want to do the present the presenting page. OK, so if you guys can take a look at the presenting page, giving a presentation. OK, so let's read and listen to the presentation. OK, write uh, the number symbol when you hear a pause. OK, then read the presentation to a partner. Okay, so when you're presenting, try pausing. Okay, pause, stop for a moment when you are speaking. This helps your audience to follow your presentation. Okay, so try to pause for a moment, stop for a moment when you are speaking. Okay, so I will read it and you guys can put, uh, put the number symbol uh, in between in between the pauses, right? So we're trying to put that the number the number symbol right in between the pauses. Okay, 
So I'll read. <clears throat> I'm very busy these days. I'm studying at Central University and I'm taking math, biology, and history classes. I'm also working at a restaurant at night to make money. On the weekends, I'm spending a lot of time studying. I'm also playing on a soccer team and I'm learning to do karate. Okay, so you guys should put the number symbols be behind all the pauses that I made when I was speaking. So the way I read it was I'm studying at Central University, okay, pause, and I'm taking math, pause, biology, pause, and history classes, classes, pause. I'm also working at a restaurant at night to make money. Okay, pause. On the weekends, pause. I'm spending a lot of time studying. Okay, pause. I'm also playing on a soccer team. Pause. And I'm learning to do karate. Okay. So I want you to do part B. Um, write a presentation about things you are doing these days. Use the questions below for ideas, okay? So make a presentation about you, right? What are you doing these days? So try to answer some of the questions or use some of the ideas like, oh, where are you living? Where are you working? What are you doing at work? Or where are you studying? What are you studying? What are you doing on weekends? What are you doing for fun? And who? are you spending time with? Okay, so make a presentation about some work that you're doing or what you're studying. Okay, and like also you could do something about what you do on your weekends, what you do for fun. Okay, so you guys can please write something there for part B, write something, okay, about your, about your life. Okay, and then when you finish, okay, read the presentation and mark the pauses with the, with the number symbol, okay? So when you, guys, when you guys do the presentation, put the number symbols in between your pauses after you read your presentation. Okay, so read the presentation and mark uh, the pauses with the number symbol. Okay, all right, so please write that down. Okay, so for example, I could say, so these days I'm uh, teaching at Daejeon University. Okay, pause. Uh, I teach students uh, conversation English uh, from Monday through Friday. And uh, at night, I like to spend my time reading or watching movies. I usually watch movies uh, by myself and I also like to play soccer on the weekends. Okay, so that's a presentation about me. Okay, you guys make a presentation about you. Okay, so when you finish that, we'll make sure you guys have already done your homework. So we're gonna look at the unit three uh, workbooks for your homework. Okay, so make sure you guys already did it first. You guys try doing it yourself first, right? Page 14, 16, and 17. Okay, you guys try, try to do it first. And then uh, we'll check your answers after. Okay. So after you did your homework, please check your answers now. Okay, we'll start with the vocabulary first. Okay, so check all the answers that correctly complete the sentence. Okay, so you can have more than one answer. So number one, I like to write articles. You can check articles, and I like to write a paper. Okay, so there's, you can check two there. Two, Ning studies accounting, and Ning studies Spanish. Okay, you can check, check more than one answer. Three, do you work at home? Do you work in an office? Okay. Four, does Henry live in an apartment? Does Henry live in Mexico? All right, uh, part B. 
Number one, she goes to college in California. Elena studies English and history. She also takes art classes. She wants to teach at a university in Brazil. She thinks professors have great jobs. Right now, she doesn't live with her family. During the school year, she has an apartment with two roommates. On weekends, Elena and her roommates travel to places in California. There are many beaches and beautiful parks. Elena can't go away some weekends because she has too much work. She writes a lot of papers for her English and history classes. Okay, and for part C, complete the sentences uh, with your information. Okay, so you can say, I live in Yeongundong, or I live in Daejeon. Okay, so you can say, I study nursing, or I study accounting. Okay, you can say, I want to work in a hospital. Okay, or I want to work for a company. I want to travel to Paris or Paris, or I want to travel to Russia. I take classes at Daejeon University. Okay. Okay, so we're skipping page 15, and we'll just go to page 16. Okay, part three, grammar uh, number two. Are you taking are you taking classes in accounting now? Diana and Grace are visiting friends in Mexico. Is Sam working at the restaurant today? My teacher is giving a quiz in class and I'm not ready for it. These days many young people are living with their parents after college. Are you still, are you and Greg still teaching at the university? Louisa isn't here this summer. She is traveling in Australia with a friend. Okay, part B. Okay, number one. Are you still studying web design? Yes, I am. What is your brother doing these days? He's working in an office. Where is Lisa taking classes? at the university. Is our class meeting today? No, it isn't. What are you doing? I'm texting my friend. Okay, part C. So put the words in the correct order to make questions. Okay, number two. Who are they meeting? Who are they meeting? Three, what are we studying? Four, what classes are you taking? And five, what is she eating? Okay, and we'll just do the last page now, the reading, the reading page. Okay, so let's read the email. What is Ariana doing these days? List three things. Okay, so three things she's doing. She's taking a class. She's working, working in a restaurant, and she's also running, running a lot. Okay, so she's taking a class, uh, she's working in a restaurant, and also running a lot. Okay, let's read the email, and then we'll answer the questions about it. Okay, so hey Hannah, how's your summer going? Mine is going pretty well so far. I'm taking a class in acting and I love it. I'm usually shy in front of people, but in this class I can pretend to be someone else, friendly and popular. I'm also working in a restaurant. I'm a server, but I also sing. This is a special restaurant. All the servers sing and sometimes they act. I love my job because I like people, but I also but also because it helps me with my class. Mr. Gardner, who is teaching at the university this summer, comes every Friday night for dinner. I'm also running a lot this summer. I want to run in a marathon in the fall. I run at least an hour every day. I'm in good shape. You'll be surprised when you see me next month. 
Can't wait, Ariana. Okay, so let's do part B. Okay, so tell me what the words mean. Okay, number one, shy means quiet. To pretend means to imagine that something is true. A server is a waiter or waitress. A marathon is a long run. Okay, part C. What class is Ariana taking? Acting. Where is she working? At a restaurant. What do the servers do? Sing. What kind of exercise is Ariana doing? Okay, she's running. Okay, so that's it uh, for unit three. I will post uh, unit four uh, later. Okay, thank you.